welcome to my channel um if you don't know me which you guys a lot of you guys probably don't um my name is Shanique Hans aka Scarlet Star aka Miss Thang <laughs> I'm just playing nobody calls me that um but my name is Shanique I am 18 um I'm a Sagittarius with the Taurus moon um I'm a college freshman And I have stage 3 cervical cancer. Um, around last year, April 2018, um, I was in college, going to college in Staten Island. I was, you know, regular in my, chilling with my best friend slash roommate, hey to me if you're watching. Um, and when we were hanging out, I just felt this really, really heavy flow. You know almost like your period or something so I went to the bathroom and instead of it just being like regular period it was kind of like clots like clotting blood clots which was really really weird because I haven't seen my period in a year only because I had you know the IUD like the next one on the rod whatever you want to call it in my arm and a lot of the time when you get that placed in your arm you can stop seeing your period which is completely normal so around april i was continuously having like that clotting whatever um i just thought it was like my period coming back i thought it was no big deal um but my mom was like hey you should go see an OBGYN immediately so that's what I did. Yeah, I'm at my mom's OBGYN. We had the same story on them. Told them, hey, this has been happening since April. And mind you, I've been bleeding since April. So it's either, and it's like every day. So sometimes it'll get the bleeding will get lighter or it'll get heavier or it'll be like straight up like when you just got your period and it's like gushing blood. But either way, I was bleeding like every day. So... I told them that and they said, okay, let's do a pelvic exam. Everybody else that had saw like the OBGYN and Staten Island and the other people, they all did a pelvic exam and they couldn't really tell what was happening. So once again, they sent me here. So they're checking and their theory was, is that I had a fibroid. Now, if you don't know what it is, um, a fibroid is like this non-cancerous, um, sometimes it shapes in the form of a ball, like a really hard ball. And it can grow on your uterus and sometimes you know it can slip out and things like that and mainly what they do is that they go in with the clamp the pelvic exam and they reach in and they're able to grab it or sometimes they'll do like you know a surgical procedure put you to sleep and things like that and they will cut it out from the abdomen the your abdominal area however that wasn't that wasn't the case for me um she went in and mind you this whole time i'm doing this exam i'm screaming bloody murder hurts 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 like it's not no mild discomfort or nothing like it it hurts bro because let's recap she has this clamp thing that's already making things very uncomfortable and it's the metal ones not the little plastic ones and on top of that, she has her whole hand in my area. So, <laughs> so she's trying to check. She's like, oh, I know I hurt, sweetie. I'm trying to, like, like, first of all, get out. Like, she was this close, this close. That's all I'm saying. So, she was doing that, and she was like, yeah, I'm not feeling anything. Like, this is alarming. They stopped the exam immediately, and they were like, hey, we are going to take you to another hospital. Um, it's the same, well, it's actually it's the same hospital, but it was a different doctor that they had. He's, like, really, really good. Like, he's, like, the head um, OBGYN there. And they said, we've never seen this before, so we're just going to send you over to him. So he's trying to feel, once again, whole thing up there. All, the whole universe is seen uh, sunshine already hold hand up there there's like two three you know physicians in there a female of course and they're all looking and they're all like what is going on um by the looks on their faces not good so he's like 
at this point I he actually did get kicked I actually did kick him by accident because I, I, that's just how much pain I was in and he takes out the clamp and he's like okay what I'm feeling is not normal this is not a normal she doesn't have a normal cervix and I said what do you mean by that and he was like you're he was like trying to show me like the little picture of my cervix and basically it's almost as if my cervix was like scraped he said like it's almost like someone took like something like a butter knife or something and scraped my cervix like it looks weird so he said he took some of the you know things that I was telling you about he took some of the mush and he put it in a cup and he put it in for a biopsy and by that time my mom's here now my mom is here and he told her hey we are gonna send her to this other big medical center in New York because from what she has I've never seen and I've been doing this for like 35 years I'm scared that if I open her up she will bleed out because I don't know what's going on so very very scary <laughs> very scary stuff um so by now same night call an ambulance I have to go in an ambulance And he's like, I've never seen this before. I want you to see my good friend, Dr. Smith, which is a female, right? So Dr. Smith and her team, they come in. They want to do a pelvic exam. Um, this one didn't hurt because they were like, you know, he already has a biopsy. And we're not going to pressure you with all this stuff because we're going to do way more testing. So they, I stayed there for a while, but they let me go. They decided to treat me as an outpatient instead of an inpatient. The difference between an outpatient and an inpatient, an outpatient, you get to go home, you come in for your appointments, whereas an inpatient, you're kind of, you're unstable. They don't think it's right for you to go home and then something happens, so you stay in the hospital. So I said, okay, cool. They said, we want you to come back and see us like around August 6th. I said, okay, cool. Come in and they said, they did the pelvic exam and uncomfortable once again and by this time mind you I'm still bleeding so they come in it's three of them dr. Smith another doctor and a medical student and she basically sits me down and she's like hey so the biopsy came back and what we can conclude is you do have stage one cervical cancer so I'm like, okay, cool. Look at these muscles. This is what fighting is all about. Come in. This time I come in with the whole crew. My mom, my dad, and my brother. So they were like, hey, this is what the game plan is going to be. So they said, okay, we did further testing with pathology, and they did let us know that you do not have stage 1 cervical cancer. You have stage 3 cervical cancer mind you this is just two weeks after they told me i had stage one right so this the whole game has changed because you have stage one stage two stage three and then you have stage four when it's like you know so my mom's crying my dad's like oh crap my brother had no idea what's going on <laughs> um they said we need to move very very quickly um, the kind of cancer I have is clear cell cervical cancer. It is very, very rare, um, especially for my age. Normally, when people do have this type of cancer, it is in their 30s and 40s. And they've never seen it on, as far as they've seen it, they've never seen it on someone this young. And it's very rare. So it's kind of hard to treat because they don't know how my body's gonna react because they don't even have like a study on it you know what I'm saying it would be different if I had like breast cancer and they were like hey we've seen this a dozen times we need to do radiation this times a week chemotherapy this times a week we need to do this and that and you're not, like all of that I don't have that because not enough people have had it yet for them to make a clear plan so they started me on radiation every day 
Monday through Friday, five days a week, and I will have mon I have chemotherapy one day out of the week. Every Monday I have chemotherapy for, and that's about four hours. They're gonna have it in five weeks, and then they are going to see, you know, what's going on, and if it shrinks, they're they're like mission with doing the five weeks is that hopefully it diminishes or it goes down to a very very small size um and hopefully it goes away pray it goes away so yesterday i actually had my first chemotherapy and radiation i have a video coming up about that i want to show you guys everything i was more anxious about what the chemo is going to feel like what radiation is going to be like um, what is my schedule, you know, things like that, and side effects of certain medications, which can happen. Um, nobody was really, like, talking about that, and if they did, it was probably someone who had a way more advanced cancer than I did, or they have a different type of cancer that's more aggressive. Like, my cancer is very aggressive, but it's in my, you know, cervical area, or it's in my cervix, you know, based on that. Or so, and the person I'll be looking at has it in their lungs. So you know what I'm saying? So I just want to create an extra platform for people to not only share their thoughts, but also talk about, you know, hey, I had this and you should have, you should ask about that. You know, let's just all communicate and share what could be helpful towards one another. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications for all my uploads or 